Hello guys, welcome to Bhakshala. In this video, we are going to see about an important anemia that is aplastic anemia. So if you have not subscribed yet to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and please like and share the videos to your uh, uh, colleagues. So let's just dive into what aplastic anemia is. So aplastic anemia is a rare disease. Okay, it is caused by decrease in damage or decrease in or damage of the marrow stem cells. It is a stem cell disorder. Okay, aplastic anemia is a stem cell disorder which is uh, caused due to damage to the micro environment within the bone marrow and the bone marrow is replaced with fat cells. The marrow cells are replaced with fat cells. This is an important finding in the histology. So this results in aplasia of the bone marrow. And in addition, you can find severe anemia of the patient, significant neutropen neutropenia and thrombocytopenia also. There is decrease in the uh, H uh, RBCs, anemia, neutropenia and thrombocytopenia also. Hence, it is also known as a pancytopenia. So it involves... This is important. Anemia, leukocytopenia, and thrombocytopenia. As you can see in this image, the bone marrow uh, normally produces the normal blood cells. Whereas in aplastic anemia, the uh, cells are decreased, right? Due to the damage in the stem cells in the bone marrow. Then coming to the Acquired. So, causes. The causes are that it is congenitally or acquired. So, it is caused by various uh, things. The main thing is it is idiopathic mostly and the infections and pregnancy can trigger it and may be caused due to certain medications or chemical exposure or radiation damage and agents that regularly produce marrow aplasia. So, it is the most important uh, thing that is happening in aplastic anemia is marrow ablation. So the most common agent that produces this marrow ablation is benzene and benzene derivatives. Okay. So it is found in airplane blue itself. It's just an example, but the patient uh, may be exposed to this uh, uh, benzene derivatives in some other uh, things also and uh, certain toxic materials like inorganic arsenic and several pesticides can also lead to aplasia. So it is inherited. It is it, it can be acquired, congenital or acquired, right? The congenital causes, that is the inherited causes may include Fanconi anemia, schwammann diamond syndrome, familial aplastic anemias and reticular dysgenesis. Okay. Coming to the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms, as you know, there is three main things. That is anemia, Leukopenia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. So neutropenia and thrombocytopenia. So since there is deficient in the thrombocytes and leukocytes, there is shorter lifespan. And neutropenia, because of neutropenia, there is different uh, decreased neutrophil cells. Then there is susceptible increased susceptibility to infection due to thrombocytopenia. That is decreased platelets then there will be increased bleeding. So it can be seen from gingiva, nose, echinosis, petechiae. Heavy menstrual flow can be seen in the females and occult blood stool can be seen and intracranial hemorrhage can be seen. Due to anemia, there is fatigue, pallor and dyspnea. Then purpura. Purpura is an important characteristic finding of aplastic anemia. It is the only finding which uh, differentiates uh, it from the other kinds of anemia clinically. So it may develop later and should trigger a CBC or hematologic evaluation is uh, necessary to see why this purpura has come. Okay, then other lymphadenopathies and sphenomegaly is same. Retinal hemorrhages are common. This is also an important one. Retinal hemorrhages can are common. The skin rash, skin rash is characteristic feature of aplastic anemia. Okay, then coming to the diagnosis. So you can see the histopathological image here. So the blood uh, smear consists of 
fatty cells. So the bone marrow smear consists of fatty cells. Okay, the normal cells are decreased in number, but the fat is being deposited all the place. So it has a prolonged bleeding time because decrease in platelets. So platelets are decreased, there is prolonged bleeding time and uh, decreased HB and hematocrit, uh, decreased absolute neutrophil count, decreased platelet count and decreased reticulocyte count. The bone marrow aspirate shows an extremely hyperplastic or even aplastic that is fewer, no cells and marrow is replaced with fat. Okay, the treatment involves the treating the underlying cause that is what that is that has caused this ablation we have to treat that so we have to manage cytopenias and if the patient is undergoing uh, is exposed to any infections we have to give antimicrobials for that and growth factors such as gcsf and uh, thrombopoietin receptor agonists and hematopoietic growth factors can be given and immunosuppressive therapy involving and and anthemocyte Globulin and cyclosporin A can be given and hematopoietic transplant can be done and transfusions can be done to the patient depending upon the uh, cause and prognosis. So then coming to the question that is given in the previous exam, that was a clinical based question. So and otherwise normal female, normal female complaints of fatigue malaise and generalized weakness these three indicate that the female is suffering from the anemia right so she noticed purpuric spots on the fingers which is an incident finding she reported to physician who asked for lab diagnosis and further evaluation cbc showed decreased hp levels the diagnosis is and the options given were iron deficiency anemia, vitamin B12 deficiency anemia, sickle cell anemia, and aplastic anemia. So let's just see how we can solve this question. See, uh, in uh, let us uh, first come to the uh, kind of uh, cells uh, they are seen with. So iron deficiency anemia, we see microcytic cells. Okay, microcytic and hypochromic cells are seen in iron deficiency anemia and there is decreased HP levels also. Whereas vitamin B12 and anemia, it is also known as megaloblastic anemia. Okay. So it is megaloblastic anemia where the cells will be macrocytic and hyperchromic. Here also you can appreciate decreased HP levels. Sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia, the cells are sickle shaped. So we have already discussed about sickle cell anemia. A question on sickle cell anemia was asked in the same NEET MDS 2023 exam. So a video is already up. So you can just uh, uh, go into the link uh, below in the description and uh, you can and uh, one link I'll also give in the uh, screen here so you can just uh, have an idea of what sickle cell anemia is and then maybe it will be easy for you to understand this then the cells here are sickle shaped and there will be decreased hb okay so decreased hb is shown in all the three anemia options that they have given even in aplastic anemia also we'll see decreased hb the most characteristic feature is uh, which divides a plastic and uh, this uh, uh, three these four options is that since they have not given this um, cellular uh, uh, this thing that is histopathology we have to go for clinical right the clinical finding found in the patient was purpuric spots purpuric spots are associated with a plastic anemia a plastic anemia is associated with petechiae Okay, or purpuric spots resulting in skin rash. So this is the most prominent feature of aplastic anemia. So the answer will be aplastic anemia. Okay, so if you like our video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on 
Instagram and Telegram handles and even our new WhatsApp channel. I hope you like the video. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you.